We've had anglers put weights in fish. We've had cheaters. Now we have catfish smugglers. That's what we're going to talk about right now. If you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button, become part of the team and family, and thank you. Another great, successful month. The last since April, it has been absolutely ridiculous with views, with comments, with members. So I just want to just say thank you. I know I say it in all the videos, but honestly, it's it's humbling and I truly appreciate it. So thank you. But if you're not a subscriber, you should be. It's free. Just click that button. Welcome to the team. I thought my boy, the catfish guru Dieter would cover this first, but last night I saw this on the press release and I thought I should do a video on it because this is just something that I think is crazy. Nine individuals have been not arrested, but charged with 180, that's 180, fish and wildlife violations. And lots of other charges are pending in other states for smuggling trophy catfish to pay lakes. Now, if you don't know what a pay lake is, that's a place where you can pay to go fishing. Generally, these, these areas or these ponds or lakes are very well stocked. They're made so that you can catch fish, but the amount of fish that you catch is the amount of fish you, you're supposed to keep, and then you pay for the amount of poundage that you end up catching. And like I said, these are usually very well stocked ponds that you can go and just slaughter fish. And I'm gonna read this because it's kind of long. Two commercial fishermen harvest 6,400 pounds of live catfish from Alabama. Alabama prohibits trophy-sized catfish to cross outside state lines. These catfish were sold to a Pay Lake operator. The Pay Lake operator allegedly purchased the catfish from these individuals who were not commercial fishermen and did not document the transactions as they, as they are required. This isn't the only thing. Thousands of pounds of catfish were harvested over 71 occasions in Barracks River Lake. I probably said that wrong which is closed to commercial fishing. Now there's a, uh, an act called the Lacey Act. The Lacey Act started in 1900. It was, it was amended in 1981 and then again in 2008. And that places limits on what type of wildlife can cross state lines into another state. Now luckily these anglers are not being charged with the Lacey Act because that would be a federal offense. The states have worked together and they are, they've got everything in order so they are just these anglers are just gonna have to deal with state laws. And the reason why this is such a big deal is this happens a lot. This happens a lot with exotic animals as we saw in Tiger King. And if you haven't seen that show, Chimp Crazy, this is something that is like the black market or the black stain of the fishing industry. Selling fish from one area to go into another area just doesn't hurt the fishery that they take the fish from, but it hurts the population that they're going to. There's a lot of fish that get introduced from one area to another, and that introduction of fish disrupts the whole cycle of fishing and cycle of food in that area. But anyone smuggling catfish or bass or anything should get the book thrown at them, I believe. I mean, as a conservationist or someone who just wants to see the right thing done in fishing and in our lakes, this is something that should be a no-no. And of course, it's not something that probably can be monitored or enforced as much as we want because not everyone is honest. But this is a weird story, one that I thought was kind of interesting because I don't ever talk about catfish, but at the same time, it offers something about what's going on in this country slightly. My question to you is in comment below, should they have thrown the book at him and charged him with the Lacey Act? Or do we just go find them for what they get and let's hope they don't ever do it again. Comment below and tell me what you think. Okay, thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. I will talk to you very, very soon. Cheers and thank you.